Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is a reading for my Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. And we're going to get right into your reading for today. Okay, first and foremost, I see there's a lot of celebrations that's definitely taking place. I also see there could be some type of reunion also that's here. As well as some of you need to um, have hope in regard to some things. You have the star card. It's a wish fulfillment card. It's also an Aquarius card. Balancing some things out within your emotions as well. Some of you are going to be getting some type of recognition in regard to something possibly that you're working on. I see that some of you are definitely showing a lot of loyalty in regard to some things. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn individual. They could be coming toward you. There's a lot of fuck fire shit going on. A lot of conflict here. Could be arguing, fussing, and fighting. Some type of disagreement is what I'm saying that you want to move on from. And um, you're going to hit some things head on, but you're going to keep it moving. I also see some of y'all moving from one place to another. You're sticking stability in your life. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Standing your strength and trust and believing in yourself that things will work out. Um, I see a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness coming in. And this is a completion card as well. Some of you are going to be very lucky in regard to finances. This is the luck card with the Ten of Pentacles. Get ready for some financial blessings coming in on a rise for you guys okay so you have the vortex card so you could get caught up in a whirlwind love affair um but that's the temptation card which is sagittarius card mm, be careful of temptation even though it looks good it may not be good for you okay and along with the moon card on the side of it there's some secrets here lies deception and deceit um something is an illusion so that means that just because it looks one way is not that way at all be careful about that i do see that you need to use your intuition in regard to some things with the high pieces stepping in be careful of your choices of the people that you choose to be in love with that's what the cards say this is the lover's card it says choices at the bottom also, there's a new beginning here. It's time for you to jump out and do something new and exciting, something you never thought that you could do because you're great at manifesting things with your water energy. That's why go on and manifest you some things to make yourself happen. It's time for you to heal from some things as well. The angel, the ocean will bring in healing for you guys because you're in, uh, you know, because you are water signs. And see, that's you, water sign. You're looking over here to healing. There's something in your life that needs healing, and you need to get some things in order as well. Mm -hmm. See, the king of the ocean is order, and that's a water sign all day, every day. The next card that's come out for you guys, which you already got up here, you have the five of swords down here in this deck, along with the five of swords up here. So definitely a lot of conflict, maybe arguing for some finding some type of disagreement, even if you're disagreeing with yourself in regard to some things. The Hermit card lets me know that you're getting to yourself to analyze people, places, and things within your life, and you also got the devil card, which is a temptation card too. Be careful of that, because somebody could be trying to bound you to them and tie you up. You got the Tempest card once again, just like you got the Tempest card up here. Um, yeah, be careful of that temptation because it's something. You need some type of balance in your life here. Wishes that are going to be fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. Anything you're hoping and wish for can definitely come out of horizon for you. You have a water sign coming in. A Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming toward you here. Coming in, trying to bring you an offer. <laughs> Oh my God, you're waiting for your ships to come in on the horizon and you have the food card once again. See, the food card is here. So these are just confirming the cards that I said already. There's a new beginning in store for you guys. And down here, the food card, a new beginning is definitely in store for you guys. So get ready for it. Work extremely hard. Hone your cuff and skill. Do what you need to do. Stand in your clarity and your truth in regard to yourself and keep it moving. There's a lot of offers that's going to be given to you on the table. The same thing. Be wise when choosing. Because just because it looks good for you, Scorpius, Cancers, and Pisces, it could not be good for you. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little short read. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. And leave comments in the comment section down below. Because I do read those and I will answer you back, okay? Mm-hmm. If you want your own personal reading, contact me at 347-227-5723. With that being said, talk to you later.